Hello everyone. We are discussing uh, behavioral detection one. Uh, how alerts are generated? Uh, what are the steps uh, to for mapping in pre-processing, during the process, and post-processing of alert suppression? Uh, the whatever the issues we face and uh, how to find solutions for those. And lastly, uh, the the key risk indicators or the issue of false negative uh, when the behavioral detection one is performed. So uh, it's on 9th of March. It's only uh, for my trainees who have paid for my previous training session or anyone who is able to join the group number 34 that is starting on 16th of March. If you are able to join it on 9th of March or before that, you can attend it as a observer for this continuing professional development training session. Purpose of this training session is to help you prepare you for difficult uh, technical interviews and also you can use the certificates for recertification as well those who have passed that exam from group number one to group number 30 or 31 something uh, it's free of charge you have to attend the full two hours with your zoom id as your full name in order to get the certificate and uh, if you want to figure it out uh, the previous cpds these are the the videos with a pic uh, that were conducted this is the 23rd cpd training session these are conducted once a month only for my campaign, the previous one was for the best uses of risk-based approach, STR, defensive STRs, uh, the beneficial ownership information that are being shared with the Finns in these days, uh, appetite, risk appetite statements, and you know, XYZ. The last time the behavioral detection one was performed, uh, the training was conducted was April, so I'm doing it exactly 12 months later. Before that, it was in October, so kindly make sure of that. Uh, you uh, attend it so that uh, when you write your examination, um, uh, for your AML certification, there is only one way for you to compete with so many applicants applying for the same job is when you are able to answer them uh, their difficult questions in a technical way which is above your pay grade. So let's suppose if you have uh, zero experience uh, in anti-money laundering but your answer, your performance during the uh, AML interview was like of a person with five years of experience. If you have five, 10 years of experience in anti-money laundering, your response, your uh, 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 in the email job interview were of a person with the fifth, uh, 15 years of. So means that your uh, technical understanding is more than whatever your experience is actually when you are applying for the job interview in multiple rounds of interview, your performance is being evaluated. So it's on 9th of March, see you. On 9th of March, your, the Zoom invite link will be shared on your respective camps, uh, uh, training batches, WhatsApp groups, uh, five minutes before. Uh, you, have to you have to join it, uh, the whole four hour, two hours of it in order to uh, get the certificate. Uh, you can convert it, uh, you know, uh, the whatever the camps are mentioned in different countries, you can, if your country is not mentioned, uh, pick a, a country's time and convert it into your time zone. Have a good day, take care.